horrifying new footage leaked from the archives of Russia's prison service has revealed how inmates were raped inside a torture chamber at a notorious jail. video reviewed by Mail Online documents the abuse of at least five inmates who were urinated on, raped by male prisoners, and violated with blunt objects. Campaigners say the deeply disturbing abuse took place in OTV1, a prison hospital in the Saratov region, close to Russia's border with Kazakhstan. They say inmates were subjected to the abuse in order to force them into false confessions, then blackmailed with the footage into abusing other prisoners or becoming jailhouse informants. It is just the latest in a disturbing series of videos that were leaked from jailhouse archives by a former inmate, and handed to human rights site Gulaga.net. Activists writing on the website said officers in Russia's Federal Prison Service, FSIN, and FSB spy agency oversaw the conveyor belt of abuse at OTB1. They say gangs of rapists were employed as orderlies and caretakers at the hospital to provide cover for them if their presence was questioned. But, campaigners say, their actual job was the routine sexual abuse of inmates as part of a criminal conspiracy operating within the jail. The rapes were filmed, with footage sent back to the FSN and FSB so it could be archived and then used as blackmail. Campaigners say the operation was carried out with the knowledge of senior members of both agencies and may have gone on for as long as a decade. While the videos currently in their possession relate to Saratov jail, they say they are working at uncovering similar schemes in other prisons around the country. Hundreds of documents and new video files have been collected, which confirm the massive nature of torture in FSIN institutions and the FSB's involvement in a number of violations and crimes, a post on the site says. Gulagu is blocked from the Russian internet and Vladimir Sechkin, the site's founder, is in hiding in France, but the videos have still caused outcry back home. Several prison officers have been fired while a massive investigation is underway, with 38 senior officials due to testify about the scandal today. Osechkin claims to have been given the videos by Sergei Savalayev, a Belarusian former inmate of the jail who claims he was asked to archive the footage, and managed to smuggle some out of the country after his release. Now also living in France where he is claiming asylum, Savalai Evstrove of material allegedly reveals the abuse of 40 prisoners, the campaigners say anecdotally the true number of victims is around 200, and could be more. The first batch of footage was released last month, with footage including a man screaming in pain as he is violated with a mop handle, one male prisoner raping another who is tied to a bed, and a group of inmates urinating on another man. Savalayev, a former programmer, claims to have been beaten and tortured himself before he was deployed as a professional to file the collection of abusive videos.
Abuse was recorded in the regions of Saratov, Vladimir, Irkutsk, Belgorod, Transbaikal, and Kamchatka, activists claim. Tanya Lokshina, of Human Rights Watch, said her organization could not verify the videos but the footage gave grounds for strong concern. The problem of torture in Russian penitentiaries is very acute and the government is not doing enough to ensure effective investigation, security of victims and whistleblowers and accountability for perpetrators, she said. Russian prison conditions were already in focus after jailed Kremlin critic Alexei Navalny drew attention to them earlier this year. Meanwhile six former inmates and a former prison's inspector told Reuters about regular beatings by guards, sexual assaults, severe psychological pressure and medical neglect. The Federal Penitentiary Service, FSIN, said it had fired five senior prison officials, including the director of the prison where the alleged abuse took place and the head of the regional prison service. Russian law says inmates must not be treated in a way that is harsh or abases human dignity. If a prison official abuses his position, he can be jailed for up to a decade.